I remember them feeling much bigger. <laughs> well, <laughs> we were much smaller. Look at my hand. Yes. I could be Zira's mouth. <laughs> Welcome back to Everest Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Everest Movie Ever today. We're going to talk about The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, and I have Audrey and Mariah returning. Yay! Yay! <laughs> the Lion King 2, Simba's Pride is a 1998 directed video release. It's directed by Daryl Rooney and Rob LaDuca. Daryl Rooney is best known for Aladdin, Tron, Beauty and the Beast, and a Goofy movie. And Rob LaDuca, I covered in the video about Around the World with Timon and Pumbaa. The link will be in the description. All the supervising animators Jess already covered in previous videos, and they'll be listed and linked down below. The film was edited by Peter Lonsdale. Jess covered him in the movie about Jungle Cubs, and it'll be linked in the description. The music is by Nick Glennie Smith, who is best known for The Rock, We Were Soldiers, The Man in the Iron Mask, and Transformers. The film was written by Flip Cobbler and Cindy Marcus, both of which we covered in Belle's Enchanted Christmas, which will be linked below. The film stars Neve Campbell, Jason Marsden, Matthew Broderick, Maura Kelly, Suzanne Plachet, Andy Dick, Nathan Lane, Ernie Sabella, R Michelle Horn, Ryan O'Donoghue, Lacey Chabert, Cam Clark, Liz Calloway, Jean Miller, and Charity Walthorpe. Neve Campbell plays Kiara and is best known for the Scream franchise and Wild Things. Jason, Matthew, Moira, Suzanne, Nathan, Ernie, Ryan, and Liz, I've all covered him. Well, play Kovu Simba, Nala Zira, Timon Pumba, Young Kovu, and the adult singing voice of Kiara, respectively. I covered them in previous videos that we listed and linked in the description. Andy Dick plays Nuka, and he's best known for Road Trip, Reality Bites, Employee of the Month, and Inspector Gadget. Michelle Horn plays Young Kiara, and she's best known for Hostage, Strong Medicine, Replicas, and Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Lacey Chabert plays young Batani and is best known for Mean Girls, Lost in Space, Not Another Teen Movie, and Ghost of Girlfriends Past. And also, I don't know why they're listed, but literally being a Hallmark star. So yeah. I don't know why those aren't, probably because these are more famous. Which, yeah. you know, there could be an argument they aren't. Cam Clark plays Simba's singing voice, and he's best known for Akira, Barnyard, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Metal Gear Solid. Gene Miller is adult Kovu's singing voice, and he's best known for Exit to Eden, Mannequin on the Move, Cop Rock, and this. Charity Walthor plays young Kiara's singing voice, and she's best known for Malala Mokaya. Rugrats in this. The film changed a lot over the years, and actually the idea for this film came to be before the original was released. It was originally about Aisha, who was Simba's daughter, and of course her name changed eventually, and Nuka was Kovu, and Andy Dick changed to Jason Marston. Michael Eisner was the one who pointed out that Kovu and Kiara shouldn't be cousins so they were very adamant about not saying Kovu was Scar's son. Lion King Tusum's Pride sold 15 million copies which equaled around 300 million dollars which is very close to the first one's box office success and it continues to be one of the best selling direct video films of all time. As a 62% in Rotten Tomatoes and two thumbs up for Siskel and Ebert. So this film sparked a sequel, which is Lion King One and a Half, and also the spin-off show Lion Guard, which is in between when Kiara is born and her first hunt, and uh, it's about Kion, who is actually Kiara's younger brother, and he is put in charge of the Lion Guard. First of all, <laughs> we have to get out of the way this in this <laughs> moment. Um, I've had the, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to be able to say probably like 22 years. I've had no these. No way. Wow. It came out in 98. Yeah. And I was going on five in 98. And I'm 27. Ryan and I probably played with these more than anything else when we were children. Probably. And we would recreate the movie with them. And then ourselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we would purposely, like, walk on all fours and try to make our shoulder blades stick out. <laughs> you don't remember you don't trying to get our shoulder blades no, to pop out I as much God. as possible? I'm because <laughs> <laughs> By far and away, probably my favorite direct video sequel. Mm -hmm. I'll have to watch Little Mermaid 2 and see how I feel about it, but just purely based on the fact that we watched this movie into the ground and still enjoy it to this day. Mm -hmm. 
It's my favorite direct video sequel. Um, I could watch this movie forever. I love this movie very much. Also, I'm gonna get my hot take out of the way. I like this one better than the first one. Sick. Anyone else can take it away now. I got all my I got all my initial things out there. People who are gonna get mad at me for that comment, totally respect. If Lion King one's your favorite, it's a masterpiece. I get it. Lion King two just slaps. Okay, so get over it. Yes. I feel like we can both agree that we both had crushes on Kobu. So. Oh. <laughs> 100%. I think the only thing that has changed is now I also have a crush on Simba. <laughs> <laughs> why is he built like that? I know. He's so jacked why in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, why? He walks around, you're just like, his uh, biceps. Okay, Simba. I thought <laughs> Kobu was Yes. I thought, I thought Kobu was jacked when we were younger, and now I'm like, Simba, <laughs> you don't gotta be like that. Mm-hmm. You're like, come in here. Now we need to compare <laughs> Mufasa in there, too. Ooh. Yeah, Mufasa was thick <laughs> what's your history yeah. with this movie yeah so it's it's very similar to you Love guys so i have a cousin um Anne marie and whenever i would go into her house um we would go downstairs into the basement pop in this vhs and we didn't have like dolls or anything but we just acted it out like we were like climbing on the couches mm-hmm. i was always kiara she was always kovu yep. <laughs> and we would like walk on our hands like this oh to be like paws. <laughs> we go like this to do the, yeah, the claw yes, moment yes in the carpet you yes. know yep. oh we gosh. we would that set TikTok, up like, i've never had an original thought <laughs> it's so true yeah, we would even like take the cushions off the couch down there and adjust, like adjust them so it was like fried Red rock. rock. Oh my yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and yes. like that's all like we did. Like of course we like played other games, but that's like my most vivid like childhood play. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, memory like is like from being with her. children, children. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yes, and so yeah, yeah. we just we loved that movie. Like even to like <laughs> in my angsty you know days. I would always be like singing like I am not I may not be brave or strong or smart but so that for you. yes <laughs> so God. yeah so that's my history with it yeah it's just a good movie the it's animation amazing. too the animation oh the best by far so far I'm excited to see if Little Mermaid 2's animation is better or similar uh-huh. but from my memory this is the best direct video sequel animation yeah mm-hmm. period Unless, you know, newer ones might have it. As a kid, I don't remember movies being just, like, direct-to-home video. It oh, was yeah, just I definitely like, don't remember that. I didn't realize it was just like, oh, yeah, we Here's have this movie. movie and we're going to watch it. And, yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think I knew it was a direct to, like a direct video sequel until right. I was much older. And I was like, my mom just bought a movie we had never seen. Mm-hmm. Right. Hoping yeah, we'd like it. Like, yeah. that's crazy to me. Which makes me then wonder, like... Did I see this by myself, like, or, like, with Reed, or Mm -hmm. at my house, or did I see it with you, or, like, who had it first, or did I show it to you, you should, like, I have no recollection of... No idea. Timon still sucks. He... (laughs) (laughs) I forgot we said that in the first movie. Yeah, Uh, he's still awful. He's not great. He, like, he's he's like, oh, let's, we have to be on her, like, stink on a warthog, and his best friend. Oh, he's still very mean to Pumbaa in this Mm -hmm. movie. Right, and it's just, like, come on now. And, but I love how Pumbaa's like, Uncle Pumbaa's coming, and he, like, goes (laughs) into the water to rescue her. Love Pumbaa. Yeah, so I just wanted to put that out there, that Timon still sucks. Yeah. I, um, I feel like I remember Zazu having a much bigger role in this right? film, yeah. and he's like barely in it. Yeah. Also, it's not Rowan Atkinson. Nuka, in general, is such a fascinating storyline because mm-hmm. he's technically on the villain side, but I don't think I've met a single person who is happy he dies. Right. It is heartbreaking. Yeah. Because you know he's a victim of abuse and he's just trying to prove himself. Right. And like wants to like prove to his mom that he's worth love. Yeah. And so when yeah. he dies, it is... So heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I would, I guess, agree that this is like I think soundtrack is better than the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's still so hard because you have a very big Mufasa attachment. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like trying to think, like as a kid, which one was like bigger for me, and I don't. I definitely we I... played more. Sure. Second, but right. I don't know which one, like, I watched more. 
or whatever. Well, you have you have incredible memories of Mufasa, just right. like you have incredible memories of this, where <laughs> all I did was watch Lion King too, mm-hmm. or what my mom put in the VHS tape. So right. I didn't watch a lot of Lion King one when I was young, and I probably didn't like to because Mufasa's death made me so sad. Oh, yeah. You know, so, and I was like, no, no. I have no <laughs> sadness in my real life. I don't need to see that. But I, I feel like I spent a lot more time, like, singing the songs of the first one because okay. we had, like, a piano music book. Oh, okay. And mm-hmm. I would, like, go through it and, like, sing it and, like, read along and... Cute. I really like that. And we even had, like, lots of, like, scholastic books that were the movie and... I mean, I love the music in both. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously. It's Nothing is ever gonna top the Exile song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Deception. Like, it just it goes so hard. Yeah. It didn't have to do that, you know? And Kovu's Lullaby, like... Kovu's Lullaby, yeah. It's... Upendi. I don't care about Upendi. Oh, it's probably my it's least fun. favorite. Yeah, I would agree. I think Can You Feel Love Tonight is better than... I would agree. Love will find a way. Yeah. Um, I oh. think... What's uh, that Simba song to when he sings to Kiara? At the very beginning. As you go through life, you'll yeah. see... We Are that. One is the name yeah. of the song. That song is... I He Lives in You, I think, is better than yes. The Circle of Life. I would agree. Like, that might be the hottest take, but I think He Lives in You is better. Yes. Sorry, Elton John. <laughs> um... Be Prepared is so good, but I do like My Lullaby a lot. Because there's just more singing, mm-hmm. I think, in My Lullaby. And then, um, I was gonna say, Hakuna Matata doesn't really have one you can... Well, Upendi. Hakuna Matata, <laughs> way over Upendi oh, for yes, me. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. If we're comparing, like, those kind of... Mm-hmm. Each song to something that's similar in the first one. Mm-hmm. So, I think it's kind of tied, depending yeah. on what you're talking about, because... He lives in you better than Circle of Life for mm-hmm. me. Yep. Can you feel love tonight better than Love Will Find a Way? We are one better than. There's no really comparison in the first one. I think this one has more songs. I think it does. Yeah. Or oh, I just I, I just can't wait to be king. Oh. I think I like We Are One better. Yes. But so. I could see how people like. They it. are like right there for me. <laughs> yeah. Just can't wait to be king is good, but it's hard to compare those two because they're not exactly mm-hmm. like a similar vibe. I used vibe. to belt that. Oh, oh, I just yeah. can't wait to be king. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Hukuna Matana, way better than you, Penny, for me. Yes. And uh, My Lullaby, just over Be Prepared. I would agree. It was yeah. interesting, though, too, to see, like, the overlap and parallel between, like, Kiara is essentially, like... Exactly how Simba exactly was. Exactly how yes. Simba was. <laughs> and, um... Simba is way more strict of a parent than mm-hmm. Mufasa. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is just so funny, and you're just like, wow, I mean, Simba obviously is remembering how he was as a kid, and that's why, but he's also, like, not remembering how he was as a kid. Right. And, like, Mm -hmm. giving him that space, or giving Kiara that space. Right. Um, But also noticing just the, like, animation of Kiara in general, it's, like, the perfect meld between Nala and Simba. Yes, it is. And I'm just like, what? like, mannerisms that she does, and I'm like, oh, that's Nala, or, oh, that's totally Simba. Yes. Mm -hmm. Before we keep talking about the film, I want to touch briefly, there is kind of a talk of racism in the film because purely the the outsiders being in poverty and of darker colors, um, which totally applies, and I'm behind the fight and the criticism about it. Um, It's pretty cringe yeah. when you are when it's pointed out to you and you realize yeah. that because obviously as a kid we Born. don't like as children you don't think it's that but it's internalizing something in you yeah and that's why there's institutionalized racism and it's a whole thing and yeah. so mm-hmm. like you know i know some people are gonna be like don't put racism on a children's movie but like it exists for a reason and people are probably doing it subconsciously right. and don't realize that that's right. what they're doing but it is what they're doing, and it's an issue, and that's why it has to be undone, and it has to be talked about, and that's why yeah. I had to bring it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's definitely a difference between it being done intentionally to prove a point versus, like, it just is done because... Because that's what they learned and right. internalized, and they don't even realize that that's right. what they're doing. Like, exactly. They just associate poverty mm-hmm. with people of color, and that's the problem. Right. Like, mm-hmm. like. All yeah. walks of colors in life experience poverty, but 
some people experience more poverty because the other people make it so. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a good, true sequel. Yeah. Like, it has a new story to tell, and Simba's learning a lesson, Kiara's learning a lesson, Kovu's mm-hmm. learning a lesson, like, so many of the characters learn lessons, yeah. versus sequels that are just, like, the same thing, or bad, like Pocahontas 2, or, Yikes. you know, yeah. stuff like that. So, it is a true sequel, and it's a good sequel. Kovu and Kiara fall in love in, like, a day and a half. Uh, I did not remember that from when I was young, and when I watched it the other day, I was like, oh. Yeah. Okay. It was fast. That's fine, I guess. They're lions. They know <laughs> like that, I suppose. Yeah, because it's like, they go on their hunt training. Yeah. yeah. And then they see Timon and Pumbaa, the rhinos happen, the stargazing happens, stargazing leads right into Upendi. Right. And then they're in love. Yep. And that's it. And then Simba wants to talk to him. Mm-hmm. In the morning. So, yes, it's like a day and a half. Beat the bush like there's no tomorrow? <laughs> Let's so start a pride. You, <laughs> you love you, Pendy. I mean, My probably least favorite of the film. I like you, Pendy, because of the, like, animation sequence of it. Yes, you it know? is beautiful. Like, seeing, like, all the heart shapes that they, like, were able to animate and make from, like, leaves or from flamingos and stuff like that like yeah. that's what i really liked and too like growing up i just wanted to eat that fruit because it just <laughs> looked so good <laughs> the to passion me. fruit yeah and i would pretend that like you know runts the little fruit candies and the little orange bowl i would pretend that was the upendi fruit and oh my God. So, <laughs> they were so cute i think i can you can you feel the love tonight Scene, music, everything is better than you, Bendy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree oh, with that. Yeah, yeah. There's, Although there's come hither that's highs. Also, very fast. They, they fall have... in love over a song. <laughs> true. <laughs> they that had much true. more time as right, children. But they though. had more. Yes, time as they have more history. Yes. Anyway, so beat the bush like there's no tomorrow is a lyric in Upendi, and I obviously didn't think anything of it when I was a child, probably didn't even know that was the lyric. And then when I saw it as an adult, and Rafiki says, you can beat the bush like there's no tomorrow from China to Kilimanjaro or something like that, and I was like, (laughs) um, if you don't know what that means, look it up. I'm not gonna tell you. (laughs) This is a family channel at some point. So, um, look it up. And if you're under the age of 18, don't look it up, please. Okay. Yeah, and clear your history and cookies and all that stuff after <laughs> looking that up. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Simba's quote, the new generation can grow, like, even better than the previous one if given mm-hmm. the chance, is so profound and powerful. Yeah. Especially yes. in that moment because he has just told Kovu about Scar from his perspective. And Kovu, you can see, is very, like, I have never heard it said like that. Like, mm-hmm. he's been worshipped. Mm-hmm. Like where I'm from, so to hear you speak of it, but not, and obviously we don't hear what Simba says exactly, but we know it's Simba, so he's speaking it in a truthful way and in a way that is knowing that Scar wasn't purely evil because it was his uncle, right. and it's like he just couldn't let go of his hate and the darkness inside of him, and it moves Kovu. You can tell because he's like, wow, he 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 really was a killer. Actually, like the things people say about him that I'm supposed to ignore are true. Mm-hmm. And then when he says, the new generation can grow even better than the previous one if given the chance to Kovu, and then showing him, like, look, this Mm -hmm. fire destroyed this land, but look at this beautiful thing that's already growing, is so, like, dang, okay. (laughs) And uh, I really, that scene has always been, like, to me, but, like, watching it as an adult, I was like, wow, Simba, that was very big of you. Because I know how you're, like, feeling guarded and crap mm-hmm. about him. Especially because he's interested in your daughter. That was so big of you, but also very, like, you're showing him that you're, like, going to be giving him the chance mm-hmm. to be better. And that's, like, so lovely. But that line that Kiara says in the heat of the moment. <laughs> it's, uh, that's a raw song line, man. Yeah. And she's like, you will never be Mufasa. You will never be Mufasa. Ooh, <laughs> because like it's ob like obviously, he's trying to be his dad, mm-hmm. and as good as what he has is his- in his head that his dad was, mm-hmm. and it's true obviously that he will never be Mufasa, 
but no one has said it to him, including Nala. Mm-hmm. And so for his daughter to say, like, you know what, Dad? <laughs> Love you, but, like, you'll never be Mufasa. Sorry to break it to you. <laughs> and so, and in that moment, it's just, like, it's heartbreaking for Simba because, like, and it's heartbreaking for Kiara because you know Kiara, like, doesn't want to say something mean to her dad. Right. She's heartbroken. Right. So, that's also good. This movie's really good. <laughs> yeah. Like, there are some really, like, big moments in this film that are like, dang, okay. Mm-hmm. What would you rate it? Ooh. What are we doing it out of? Lines? Ooh. Or prides? Mm-hmm. Or alligators? <laughs> <laughs> uh, grubs? Passion fruits? Passion, Passion fruits. fruits! Yeah, I like Cute. that. Okay. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 passion fruits. Also 9 out of 10 passion fruits. Also 9 out of 10 passion fruits! Yo. Our total movie count is... <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, parent death toll is... <laughs> you forgot what your merge. <laughs> yes. uh, amazing. Uh, if you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. Follow Audrey on YouTube with her husband Reed and my cousin, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. her it's brother. Like time. Yes. Uh, and also follow her on Twitter. You, mm-hmm. Nothing. No. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes on Wednesday. Join Patreon. She's repping her merch. Yeah, you, you can, can get exclusive merch like this, as well as many other things. I now have a one dollar tier, so if you just like want to get videos early and feel like throwing a dollar my way, that sounds fantastic. Thank and you very fun. much. And a coupon. You do get a coupon to merch, 20% off. Uh, and buy merch. We're yes. all in merch. You can't buy that one unless you're a patron, but mm-hmm. you can buy these two. Yes, and the new stuff. And the new stuff, which is stunning. Yes. But, uh, yeah. Mine comes at the end of the month. Mm-hmm. Yay! I'm, I'm not wearing it. I've worn it a lot, so I yeah. kind of was like, maybe I should go back to some originals. Okay. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm sure you are, so you do, and don't. Be zero about it! Yes. Oh my god, I even cut his ear? Yeah, you cut her ear, too. Wow, I suck. I'm pretty sure you were present for all this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're like, yeah, you cut her ear, too. Like, pretty sure you were there when I was doing all of this cutting. Whatever, you had the scissors. I'm pretty sure that's true. <laughs> You want to be in a video? Thumbnail.